Hi, this is Elizabeth. Welcome to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 9. I am participating in a collab with the We Love Collabs group. And I'm also seeing that at the post office. So if you see me looking around, <laughs> that's why. Um, today's collab is um, supposed to be the top five Christmas movies and songs. But I only have two Christmas movies that like I have to watch every year. And there's one Christmas album that's my absolute favorite that I want to introduce you to. So, let's get started. Oh, wait. Remember, playlist will be below. And I'm also going to include a link to uh, the music that I talk about. So, now I'll get started. My very favorite Christmas movie is Elf. I am so excited because I get to see Elf the Musical on Christmas Eve. My first time seeing it. And I hope it's just as, as wonderful as the movie. But if you haven't seen Elf, you must. You must. At one time, um, I was going through a rough patch in life. And my nephew had just come to live with me. And we watched Elf. I think every night for like four months straight and I'm not kidding so it it really helped us through a rough time and I just love it and it's just captures the whole innocent spirit of Christmas that we wish we had all the time and we wish we had every holiday season so I'm going to insert some elf pictures right now My second favorite Christmas movie is Love Actually. And Love Actually is actually tied, got the actually tied, for my favorite movie of all time. It's right up there with Arthur. I love both of those movies so much. And I watch them, I know I've seen them both hundreds, not just hundred, hundreds of times. I have a thing, if I love it, I gotta watch it like a million times. So, if you haven't seen Love Actually, it is one of those movies, it's an ensemble film, and it has a ton of great English actors in it. Uh, Hugh Grant, uh, Emma Thompson, the late, late, great, great, great Alan Rickman. And when I watch it this year, that's going to be really hard to watch. I just loved him so much. Didn't know I was going to tear up there. Sorry about that. It's supposed to be fun and exciting. <sighs> so, it's set in England, and it's at Christmas time, and it's sad, happy, love. It's got it all. So, give it a chance if you haven't seen it. Picture's here. Alrighty, my favorite Christmas album of in all time used to be Elvis, Elvis Christmas album. How could how could you beat that, right? Well, Chris Isaac did for me. Shh, don't tell my mom, okay? Don't tell her because she'll probably be mad. <laughs> but Chris Isaac released Chris Isaac Christmas. I I don't even remember. Maybe. 10 years ago maybe more um, but I think it's yes 11 at least 11 I'm pretty sure because <laughs> I saw him 
for my 40th birthday and the, he was doing a Christmas show, blah, blah, blah. So anyway, um, so at least that many years. I can't believe it's been that long. Anyway, it is an amazing album. He, he covers songs, but this man is committed to his art. He wrote five original Christmas songs for this album and they're great. They're not throwaways by any means. He really put an effort into it. And in fact, I like them more than the traditional Christmas songs he covered, which his voice, I mean, covering traditional Christmas songs with that voice is just incredible. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to put links below to some YouTube uh, channels that have um, the songs because they, it's, you got to hear it. You have to hear it if you haven't. He wrote one called Brightest Star. It's a very simple song. And it's basically about his relationship to Jesus. It's not about just the birth of Jesus, but it's about accepting the fact that the story of Christ basically dying for us, however, you know, and he talks about how no matter what he's done, Jesus has always been there for him. I don't believe he actually uses the word Jesus, but it's the metaphors through the words of the song. You obviously get it, and it's on a Christmas album, so duh, it's, you know, Jesus. So, But I, it's very, very well done, and that is my favorite one on the album. All right, now I'm back home in my garage, so I can finish this up other songs on there uh santa claus is coming to town is a duet with stevie nicks it's probably my least favorite but and that's sad because i love them both <laughs> but just you know the way it is uh a great rendition of the christmas song which no surprise with his voice and a song called washington square which is, I don't know if he wrote it f for soldiers, but it's turned into kind of a, a tribute to soldiers and being away at Christmas. It's a beautiful song. And there's some great ones he wrote that were funny or, or comical. One's called, um, You Gotta Be Good. And he does like a little uh, uh, Louis Armstrong kind of beginning where he's like, bad little boys, bad little girls. He does that. <laughs> and uh, it's really cute. It's about being good so you get your presents. It's very cute. And let's see what else. I'm sorry this is not more organized. I had intended to do it much differently, but... Life has gotten in the way today. Okay. Um, just buy these. Buy the album. <laughs> Download it. Or check out the list below the uh, links to it. Because it's really, really good. I mean, I have given it as gifts so many times. And there is another album that, besides Elvis, because of course... You know, I, I put, I, I would put the Elvis Christmas in like its own separate category. I mean, that's just like the ultimate classic to me. And, and then most people I know, it's like, even if you don't like Elvis, you love the Christmas album. But a second, a runner up to Chris Isaac would be the Brian Setzer Orchestra. His Christmas album is fantastic. Fantastic. And one year I'm going to get to go to his rockin' Christmas show they play every year, and every year it's either sold out when I try to get tickets, or I just don't have money for it. So, one year I'm going to go. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see that Brian Setzer on there. I've seen him as a straight cat, but I've never got to see him as, you know, his orchestra, which I really, really want to see. So, I will try to find some links for that, too, because it's also very, very good. And in fact, his version of the Nutcracker Suite is in Elf. It's runs through the movie, so. 
And it's also on the Elf soundtrack, which I also love very much. And it's a Christmas song. <laughs> All right. I'm going to let you go. I will hopefully we'll get some holiday lights. So hopefully they'll be at the end of this because I've been trying to get some for every day of Vlogmas for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your patience with my not so fantastic videos for Vlogmas as I had intended, but just lots of stuff going on. And quick update. Well, I'll update about my dad tomorrow in my Friday update video. I'll give you that. But prayers are appreciated. And the ones that have reached out to me, thank you so, so, so much. And I will leave it at that. And hopefully holiday lights will be coming. I'm trying to stay in cheery mood. Bye for now. Merry Christmas. Merry Vlogmas. Tonight's holiday lights are brought to you by Nutwood Street in Fullerton, California. You want to be in it, Zoe? Say hi. Hi. Say, tell them your name. Zoe. Zoe. We're out walking, yeah. looking at lights, aren't we? Mm-hmm. You want to walk with me now, Zoe? Yeah. This whole neighborhood yeah, gets I together, love. and there's several streets with these hanging lights. I'm going to try to get a close-up on that for you. Look at that. Down the whole street. It's so awesome. Oh, I love this projector lights. I won't show you the entire street <laughs> even though it would be fun too lots of traffic everyone coming out to look at the lights this house across the street is really cute and the one next to it is just adorable i'm so happy i'm out with isaac and his girlfriend and her kids and we're having a ball Gets you in the Christmas spirit, doesn't it? Merry Christmas! Oh, let me get this cross over here. That's a good way to end it. Again, the reason for the season. Bye for now.